inspect the wiring. Come on, inspect this. What's this? Yeah. Does that wiring look dodgy to you? I don't know if I've showed you guys my floor plan slash design for my van yet. And I'm all bundled up like a rug. It's cold. <gasps> Yay! The light works, the fan works. Honey, the electrical project manager is back to check out everything again. Without burning myself or anything else. This is my pretty switch. I have a voltage meter. This is actually upside down. A voltage meter here, which tells me my bit battery percentage. Of course, the time I try and film it, nothing would come off smoothly. Okay, we did it. 6 p.m. I'm all dressed up in my wool and stuff because it's cold. So. I may as well, since I'm doing the electricity, like, use my electrical system and give myself some light. Because I should use it so I can work, because it's dark in here. My Yay. Hello. Yeah. Is that a good lap? It's a good lap. Punky's not an often, often a lap cat, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you are. Hi everybody! Just wanted to show you where we're at. We've got lots of the strapping. I've managed to figure out how to do the corners. And this side is pretty ready to go too. Very happy with all of this. It's been a big job. But I'm glad I got it done. I think I'm up to the most daunting and overwhelming job of them all. The electrical. I don't know where to start. I don't know a whole heap about electrical and I've been doing all of the YouTube university that I can. I have... I have a little bit of an existing wiring kind of run up and a rat's nest to make some head or tail sense of and I'm excited to figure out all the things I've planned that will need electricity, where they'll go and how I'll run the wiring. Especially now while there's no insulation or wall paneling in the way, I want to have all of that hidden and tucked away. So making sure I have everything planned for right now is really important and I have my layout pretty nailed out and I don't think I've shown you yet. Let's walk through the layout of my new van. Hello everybody. It is wet and rainy outside and I was cold in my other van, the big one. So I'm back in mystery, the little van, the little rusty box of a van and I'm working on my lights. I'm trying to make sure that they will work and I want to test them because they've been sitting outside, they may have gotten a little wet and these are from the previous van install when I demolished and now have since begun to rebuild. So dealing with electrical, first question is lights, how am I going to wire them up, making sure that the ones I've got work so I don't have to buy new ones. So I've got my battery bank wired up and I have about 10 puck lights here to test. We have a ground wire. This one's super easy because it's got connections already. And. Make sure you don't do it to the wrong way around, but look, we have light. It works. Power. Oh, now this is interesting. This one only works on two. I thought I would get some tape and label each of them. So I think this one works. Be 
very careful not to short this. It. Done! They're all done. And I only have two slightly faulty ones. On each of these there's like eight little tiny tiny LEDs and positive and a negative and most of these lights all eight work. I have two like this one but only two of these little LEDs work. I don't know why probably because it's been outside for a bit and they're old and this one here only six of them work but I have nine that work and one that doesn't so I'm glad I checked so nine lights and now I can go to my diagram hang on let me show you I have a little diagram here and this is my floor plan of my van um, it's probably a little too difficult to see but I'm gonna show you in a different shot where my lights are gonna go and now that I know how many puck lights I have here to play with I can plan them out on the diagram and place them all and run the wiring which is mucho exciting in the step van door the driver's seat is here I already have an outdoor light so I have a 12 volt outdoor light here and here these are already installed as are this one and this one this is the back doors I have a window here and I have a window here the wheel well is here and here this is my plan feel free to leave some feedback what you think hopefully this will work out so this area here will be my bed this bit here and I'm aiming to make a slide out that's this size or at least comes to here that will come out and slide out this way I also wanted to have a second bed so in here is a couch so this is the kitchen bench here there is a couch that is lower than the bed so the bed is high the couch is low, slightly lower than the bed and then there'll be a second bed now if you've ever been in a sailboat they'll have a, a berth and it kind of tucks underneath so my idea is that from this couch there is a secret foot sleeping space cubby that is underneath the bed that goes like this which I think is a really neat idea this side of the wall I'm having a dinette so as you can see this here chair that kind of shape and then the table in between so a dinette here which will give me working space for editing videos and work and it's right by the big window which is really nice my fridge will be right behind here there'll be some sort of bench space and the fireplace will be here I'm also hoping to put in a very skinny little wet room where I can drive my wetsuit I re just today purchased a light fan vent extractor to go in here which I'm super excited about and then the fireplace will be here that's it thanks for listening to me ramble I would love your feedback on my design and my thoughts if there's anything you've thought of, haven't if I haven't thought of it is a gorgeous morning Time to do some more work in the van. I was working pretty late last night and it got a bit dark to film so I want to show you now all the things I did. So you remember me showing you this rest ne rat's nest? It's a, a bunch of switches. I have now gone through and labeled all of the wires and traced out where the wires run along the top here so I know where they all start and terminate where the power comes in where it goes through and I actually have two spare switches so this one I think I might make for the water pump and this one I might put some extra lights or ports or something in my dinette office area so I've lab labeled everything which is so good I have run some big thick wire and I'm hoping that will run the um, house mains 120 volt power 
I've still got some figuring out there to do because I want to put in a sweat, uh, a plug box, which has two outlets. So I have several of these plugs with two power outlets. I really want to wire from this wire into here. So again, you can see that there's two ends on each side and then what I assume is the ground. So I'll, there's three wires that from here will then connect one, two, one on each side and this the third. Now I'm picking up some heat shrink wire connectors and tie offs today. So I'm about to connect all of these wires really safely and run them where I need them to go. Got some serious cable here. You coming to inspect the construction site and get covered in sawdust? Oh, checking out the wiring. <laughs> you're showing the world your butthole, look, you're covered in sawdust. Of course the time I try and film it nothing would come off smoothly. Okay, we did it. Four wires ready to be connected. Boop, boop. You can see that there's a black line running down to one side of it. So we'll connect those together because those are the negative. Okay, we have our two ends and our two heat shrinks, grimber and a lighter. Stick it in the hole, shove it in as far as I can make it go in. with growing a YouTube channel accepting that that will happen probably very slowly sorry if I sound really congested I've had the flu anyway what I wanted to say is I thought I would do a little explanation between uh, how a circuit works and how this particular circuit works for 12 volt electrical because I figured it out and I'm proud of figuring it figuring out and I thought explaining some of the how electrical systems work might be useful. 12 volt and a USB, which is pretty sweet. And then all of these switches, which will all control individual circuits. Um, or s they're kind of sub circuits really. So this here is a little fuse inside of it. There is protection with a little fuse inside that goes in and slides out and you can buy packets of fuses like this and that you might have seen this before they're very similar to car fuses which is 
the 12 volt cigarette lighter and this is where the power comes in. This is my in. And then this here is a bus bar. And this is where all of the, this is a negative bus bar, so all of my negatives connect all of these positive, um, all of the positives here. So all of the red wires down here are positive and all these are all negatives. So I have all the negatives are all here. So each of these lines has got a negative and then the positive bunny hops from here to here to here to here to here to here to here with a fuse in between. And on this in and out I will probably have uh, a fuse closer to the battery, another one, just to make sure that this here is then protected second with a secondary redundancy. electrical project manager is back to check out everything again. It's a pretty exciting moment right now folks. I am just putting some power in my circuits and I'm going to test each one and if they work the lights will turn on and the main thing that we'll be able to check is this. If this is correctly powered the volt meter in the middle will be lit up and there's a little tiny blue light in each of these switches. So I'm really super excited. Hopefully this will all light up the moment I switch the power on. So let's check. Cross your fingers with me. Are we ready for the moment of truth? Yay! <laughs> it works. And then as we switch them on, each of these, oh, there's a light on behind me. Did you see that? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and you can see which ones are on. One of them isn't got a light on it, so I don't know which switch it is from here yet. Yeah, probably that one. Okay, so there's two that don't work. So freaking happy when you've worked so hard to do something, like this mess of wires, all of that. Oh, I'm relieved. Let's turn it off. Definitely gotten better at doing these heat shrinks. They're not black anymore. I'm holding them lighter much further away. And probably you're all yelling at your computer screens being like, hold your lighter further away. Don't burn the heat shrink. Yes, 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 I know. I did play with electrical stuff as a kid, so I have understanding of how to make a circuit. And if you ever get your kids those toys where you can like, connect a 9 volt battery to a tiny or a little little battery that you can connect to a little light and some electrical connections and it's all run on like really low power it's very useful this unit has been really freaking complicated to sort out fan in here light in here switch and there was wires coming out of here and wires coming out of here when i put connected them together and joined power, the fan would turn on but the light wouldn't. I don't understand. And the ways I was connecting it up, either the fan would turn on the light wouldn't, or the light wouldn't turn on, the light would turn on and the fan wouldn't. So I think I figured it out. So we turn our power on and look. The light and the fan or just the fan. <gasps> Yay! I have added this cable that goes into this green power source thing here, which I didn't know that's what power source is. This means you can put power in here. It's like a terminal. So if I then connect that power out of here to the fan, which I will, I'm about to do this connection properly. And then this power here that comes from the light is the power in, power in. This green thing is a connector, which connects this and this together. And we have a circuit and it works. Yay. beautiful today and I'm 
pretty freaking stoked. I've got a bunch of things to do. I'm finally picking up the fuse block that I've been waiting to do. It's the, like one of the last things for my electrical. I also picked up my secondhand new to me heater. So I've got to decide where I'm going to put that inside the van because I've got to decide pipe routing for heat. And yeah, I've got to run on a cable for that. That's it. Fuse box is going to be going in. I'm excited. Today I have coming um, my welder friend Mark and we're going to measure up the space for my bed frame. I'm excited about the bed because it's going to be on pulleys and rope to level it and it's going to be made of aluminium so it'll be nice and light and have a slide out. So I'm pretty excited because that's a really big deal to get that ordered because obviously it will take him a little while to build it and in the meantime we have to build it for somewhere to put it. So I'm excited! what I was up after and I had to get it from a marine store next up I need more of this hi from current day editing me I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this electrical video. I know that there's a few things that I haven't finished yet, like the fuse box, because I ordered it three times and it was the wrong one. And I didn't really do much explanation of my 12 volt, my sorry, my 120 volt. I've got a wire coming out of the inverter. It just plugs straight into the inverter and it will run each side. And I've just split it into two plugs on one on each side. So it's very, very simple for the 120. I don't know 120 electrical very well. And so the 12 volt system is way more complex. I hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, I'd love to hear them. I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. And this episode was a lot of fun to make. It took a long time to get all of this done. Uh, and we're making some real progress now that the electrical's done. Can't wait to show you that too. Bye.